Hey everybody, uh, it's Grant. It's time for another episode of Grant Draws. Uh, wow, look, we have so many comments already. Uh, obviously, I already saw most of you guys over at Joe's show. But uh, it's always nice to say hi again. Donna's here. Thank you, Donna, for telling everybody to like and subscribe. We have Dan. Carl is here. Trey Bachman is here. Don Dulles. Hey, everyone. It was a fun night. Thank you for not making me go into a laugh hangover. Uh, Joe Bachman's here. And Bladed Thesis. You know what? I don't even know what Bladed Thesis's real name is. But um, maybe that's the way he likes it. I don't know. So Carl is saying the solar systems were, the solar storms were supposed to cause the aurora to be visible here later. Could also cause, cause GPS issues and satellite issues. Oh, by the way, I am wearing pajamas, my pajamas tonight. These are uh, cat pajamas that Angie bought for me. Um, Angie, Angie was surprised that I liked these cat pajamas, but, and man, is my hair messy. Sorry about that. But yeah, I am wearing my pajamas because I'm probably going to bed right after I finish this show. Dan says, Lynn and I were playing tag teams for the bathroom between shows. Uh, Foxy was saying that uh, it's cloudy where she lives. And Carl wants to know who won. Trey says, ooh, maybe I'll get to see the Aurora since I'm on nights. And Dan Hollyfield says the dog was in her way. And Foxy is wishing uh, Trey good luck. Oh, Thesis doesn't like his given name. His Chinese name is more beautiful. Okay, interesting. Okay, so tonight, as I said, I am going to be working uh, on my my cover okay there we go i'm gonna make that full screen can you guys see it so this is actually the world debut of the Beowulf trade paperback cover. Of course, Mooney is very prominent in it. Okay, so Bladed Thesis is saying that depends on what you mean by real name. I have a name that is on my driver's license slash birth certificate, but that is not me. And Dan is saying, damn, Grant, that's awesome. Thanks, yeah, I'm happy with it, with it as well. And tonight I'm going to be coloring it at least a little bit. I've already got a little bit of work done on it. And Foxy seems impressed too, which is nice. Um, so I color in layers. So this is, um, this is what it looks like with a little bit of color, but not too much shading or, or highlights or anything. Um, his hair is not going to be this color. I made this color, his hair a different color so that it wouldn't blend in with uh, the background. Like if you click, um, one of the problems is if you click on a color with like this little selection tool, it selects everything. Wait a minute. It selects everything of that color, which is bad because I don't want the hair to blend in with the background so that's the first layer of color this is the second layer of color I don't know what do you guys think do you think the dragon is is uh, um, it's kind of like blending in with the background a little bit so as you can see I added a little bit of like the scale texture I'm probably going to add a little bit more to that. Uh, 
I wonder if you guys can hear my cats in the background. My cats are complaining that I haven't fed them yet. Which is not fair because uh, it's not their dinner time yet. The cats don't always know how to tell time, right? So here's the clouds in the background. What do you guys think of this cloud texture? Can't decide if I like it or not. Is it, does it, is the cloud texture too much? Is it starting to like overwhelm the rest of the drawing? And then we have some stars. And then the top layer is just the inks, the, uh, the actual drawing. So that's the cover. Oh, hey, Sarah, how's it going? Okay, I have to catch up on people commenting. Uh, Lady Thesa says, people who caught my stream on names learned what my birth name is. I have no issues with others knowing. Like I said on that stream, it's my birth name, but it's not who I am. Okay, fair enough. The answer is the dragon is nicely shaded while being lit from its flame. Yeah, so that's... So that's something that I'm trying to get better at. I'm not the greatest at coloring, um, but I'm trying to kind of figure out a light source, which I think is something that is really important when, when coloring, is making sure that you have a consistent light source. Like if you look on this, you'll see the shading is kind of like towards the top of his head. And then it's a little bit lighter on his stomach and like the top of his legs and like the top of his wings. And then as you get further out away from the fire, you'll notice that it gets darker. So one of the things that's really, really, really hard is coloring fire, which obviously I haven't really done too much yet but um yeah why did i make a comic book about dragons if i didn't like coloring fire am i right okay so carl says that he likes the clouds he thinks they help define the dragon from the background thanks carl hi again sarah dan thinks this clouds look real yeah i i found a photoshop brush that was specifically called um, uh, clouds. So hopefully that makes it work. Donna's saying hi to Sarah. Foxy think, likes the clouds too. Sarah says that it's different from the rest of the picture, but but picture, but it's it's uh, gorgeous. Thank you, Sarah. Clouds look realistic. Sarah says she's doing good. I'm doing good, too. I'm just hanging out around my house in my pajamas. Angie went to bed. Sarah's greeting Carl. Says people I've seen this morning, right? I forget what day it is. Uh, as far as I know, it's still Monday. We have another three, maybe four hours. Uh, Bladed Thesis is saying hi. Sarah's saying hi to Blade and Donna. Bladed say, saying my real name is Jacob or Jake to some, but I'm aware that that name has some negative memories for the people here. Hmm. I don't know that story, but. Yeah, so I think that was part of what I was worried about, Sarah. I think the I'm worried that the clouds are like a different style than the rest of the of the drawing. I don't know. Sarah's saying that the clouds look more reali realistic than the dragon and the guy, but I'm sure it's supposed to be that way. And Sarah's saying fun, chill, and draw. Yeah, it is a, a, f a nice, fun night. You know, the one mistake I made was... 
Angie and I were out all day today. We're almost all day today. We had a nice little uh, afternoon date, and I forgot to pick up a bottle of wine. Like, I would be having a lot more fun right now if, uh, if uh, um, I had remembered to pick up a bottle of wine. But that's okay. Um, it's a Monday night, so I don't really need to be drinking. But, um, yeah, maybe I shouldn't zoom in this close because you can start to see all the problems with the coloring. But um, back to what I was saying, you know, having a consistent, uh, a, a consistent, oh, look who's coming to, to visit me. Oh. Yoshi is here. Everybody say hi to Yoshi. Say hi to the people, baby. That's my cat, Yoshi. Sorry, I'll go back to drawing. Um, DQ Blizzard just showed up. I don't know if you door dashed or what, but uh, somehow Sarah got the DQ Blizzard. It sounds delicious. Carl's excited about Yoshi. Everybody's excited about Yoshi. How can you not be excited about Yoshi? She's so, she's adorable. Uh, I don't know, know quite how to read that, John W. Uh, what is that? Devil sign, heart, devil sign. Is that Are those supposed to be like miniature cats? I don't know. Donna says, hi, Yoshi, too. Okay, so back to drawing. What I was saying, uh, I don't know, I keep getting distracted by uh, the comments. Uh, I'm trying to make a more consistent uh, light source. You see the shadow is behind Victor here, which is the way it should be because... Um, Because obviously the fire is what's causing most of the uh, um, the light. Obviously, this uh, this scene takes place at night, so you're not going to see a lot of of light, but you are going to see some light. And I'm going to start. Uh, uh, what layer am I on? Oh, I was on the right layer. Duh. So you can color different ways, and um, certain ways are more fun than other ways. Um, but um, I'm going to color like this. What do you guys think? You think this needs a little bit more shadows on the wings? I think so. I mean, I'm going to add some of that when I put like the scale texture on. Actually, that might be fun to do to show how I do that. Grant, yeah, you might notice that what you think are mistakes, but I see very good work. Well, thank you, Dan. It's not a blank page, so you can edit it. Exactly. Okay, so I'm going to put some texture on these wings. I wonder if Sarah is back from getting her uh, uh, DQ Blizzard. You're going to have to tell us how you got a DQ Blizzard this time of night. I guess it's not that late where you're from, right? It's, it's, on, it's closer to like, what, like 8 o'clock? Okay, I'm trying to figure out a good brush for the wings. And part of the problem is that I don't remember what texture 
I used on the other dragon wings. So I kind of have to figure that out. Um, because I think the texture that I put on that dragon looked pretty good. I should have, I should write down what what textures I, I use. So I think this would look good. But I need to make it way smaller. And Sarah says it's good work. I just point things out in curiosity. Sarah says, nice chunky Oreo blizzard. Be prepared for the sugar rush. Oh, good. That means you're going to be commenting a lot, right? Right, Sarah? Which is a good thing. Uh, yeah, so how did you get an Oreo this, this time of night? Was this like a, uh, a gentleman caller brought you a, a, uh, a blizzard like instead of flowers? Or was this a DoorDash guy? I don't know. But I'm going to get back to drawing. Can you guys hear my cat in the background complaining because I haven't fed him yet? Their official dinner time is 10 o'clock. So don't feel sorry for my, my cats. Um, I have to make sure I'm on the right layer. And then... So this isn't like super subtle, but it's fairly subtle. I'm actually gonna make it a little bit darker. Yeah, like I said, the official uh, dinner time for my cats is 9 p.m. But um, my cats don't always agree with that time. They think it should be more like, uh, 8.39. I mean, sometimes they start complaining like around like 6, 5 or 6 in the evening. I think they got a lot of snacks tonight, though, so they haven't been too obnoxious yet. Note the fact that I said yet. So Sarah is saying... A family member bought her a a uh, blizzard, and uh, Valentine's Day. She doesn't have a gentleman caller. Valentine's Day is evil. Well, I don't think there are any single men in the chat. So I was gonna say if there were any single men in the chat, they could drive by and give you a blizzard, but. Uh, I don't think there are any. Carl's calling me a mean man because I, because I should feed those poor felines. I I promise you, Carl, these cats are are not starving. Believe me, they they do not need more food. And Sarah says I'd bring catnip. Innocent smile. All right, my cats love catnip. I don't know about you guys. Um, so we we got a new cat tree couple weeks ago and the cats were kind of um a little bit i don't know if if nervous is the right word or a little bit they had a little bit of trepidation about it um and then angie sprayed like some catnip spray on it and it was like oh boy that's all it took the cats were rolling around jumping from from uh, little, uh, like the little spots. That's really all it took for them to get excited about the, um, the cat tree. Okay, so I put a little bit of shadows on his wings now. I'm gonna, uh, now I'm gonna put the highlight on the edge here. How does that look? Oh, by the way, uh, Thesis, I hope you don't think that I was being nosy about about your real name. Um, 
I mean, obviously you have, it's well within your right to use or not use whatever name you feel like. I was just curious. You know what the problem is with this? I'm going to end up inadvertently getting that other um, dragon wing that's behind here. So I'm going to, instead of keeping clicking on do, I'm going to go to the history Ah, uh, there we go. That's good. So the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to deselect this part of the ACK. And then I'm going to start putting highlights on here. And I think that that's maybe a little bit too bright for me to start out as. Like, I kind of want to build up to that color. Yeah, that looks a lot better. I don't know if I want to go quite any that bright. Or maybe that should be as bright as I get. Just because this is like the back wing, and like I said, it's further away. From the fire. Oh boy. We got a lot of comments. Sarah says thanks for the gesture. I think she she meant me uh, trying to hook her up with any single men in the chat. My favorite thing is when the pupils get huge. You know something is about to happen, but you don't know what. Just wait and watch. Sarah says, I like what you're doing. Cool, thank you. Use whatever name you want to. I personally like saying Blade. Yeah, I, for some reason I call you Thesis instead of Blade. Blade is a, a much cooler uh, sounding thing, right? Because then you look, you sound like uh, the Vampire Hunter, right? And Blade is saying that he understands curiosity and all. So Dan is saying, I wouldn't know how to describe my personal art style, but often the colors I use tend to look as if Salvador Dali was tripping on LSD. Huh, interesting. You know what, Dan? I don't know if I've ever seen any of the art that you've done, but um, um, yeah, I would like to see some of your art. Um, and maybe sometime if you'd uh, if you'd like to be a guest on the show, that might be fun too. I don't know. I don't know how public you are with your art or anything like that. And Foxy thinks that that sounds fun. Sarah says everyone says thesis, and I use the other part. Well, that's good for you, Sarah. Uh, it's a good idea to try to be different than the crowd, right? I'm going to go back to coloring at least until we get a few more comments. Uh, just put a little bit of highlight here. You know what? I think that's too bright. I'm going to go back and I'm going to get set the opacity on my brush at 50%. So does anybody in the chat, I know um, Carl occasionally works in Photoshop. I'm curious if anybody else enjoys working in, in Photoshop or any other type of digital art. Yep, there's my cat scratching at, at the furniture, if you guys can hear that. That's, uh, here, let me set the... That's my other cat, Stitch. Say hi to the people, Stitch. Oh. So that's actually uh, my stepdaughter's cat. She was the one who named him Stitch. Um, and we got him 
I think four, maybe five years ago. I don't know how she picked him out, but but um, he's been a good cat. So Blade says, pretty sure Nick started calling me Thesis and everyone else just follows suit. But you're right, Blade does sound cooler. Wow, Sarah remembers beta reading, or is it beta or beta reading my first issue grant? God, that was probably close to three years ago. Yeah, I forgot about that, Sarah. I think you might be one of the first people to ever read Beowulf number one. Okay, so Blade says, I've seen a piece of Hendrix that Dan did, and it was amazing. Dan says, all, all of my art is in a photo folder on my Facebook. Sarah's saying that she took French in high school because everyone else was taking Spanish, then ended up with Latinos. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, well, I don't know. I, I don't know if you're saying that that's a good thing or a bad thing that you ended up with Latinos. I, I mean, I don't know. Carl uses Paint Shop Pro, which is very similar. Uh, and I've never gotten the hang of that particular selection tool. So you probably use Paint Shop Pro because Photoshop is insanely, insanely overpriced, which I agree with. Uh, um, I, I mean, I'm not going to admit on air that I pirate Photoshop, but um, I'll leave that up to your imagination. Carl's excited about Stitch. Donna also is saying hi to Stitch. And Sarah says uh, she thinks that he was saying hi back, but it's more like feed me. So Dan is saying that the Jimi Hendrix painting took three days from pencil to letting it start to dry. Our sleep, our, Foxy says that our pup is sleeping on my slippers and it does not look comfortable. You know what? We, oh, guess what? Yoshi just climbed up on the, the, um, on the, uh, Katri and I'm going to have to show you guys. See, that's her. You can see how high up she is. Sorry, I'm trying to aim the camera and talk at the same time. I don't know if I spooked her because she got down as soon as I did that, but. Okay, so back to what I was saying. Yeah, Foxy is saying that our pup is sleeping with my slippers. It does not look comfortable. Yeah, our cats do that too sometimes where it's like they'll sleep in a way that I, in my head I'm like thinking like how could this possibly be comfortable? But um, I don't know. I guess it is comfortable for them. Sarah says, I remember when you weren't really sure about Beowulf and self-promoting. You've come a long way. Yeah, I mean that can be one of the scariest things in the world, right? When you sit down, you know, at a drawing table, I mean, it took from the time I started writing it to the time I finished drawing and coloring it and stuff like that. Um, it's probably six or seven months. And the thing about that, I, I'm sure any artist or writer here can can uh, relate to this, that, you know, you're alone in your your own thoughts for a really, really, really long time while you're working on this stuff. And you start thinking to yourself like, oh my God, am I putting a ton of work into an idea that everybody's gonna take one look at it and just say, this is the stupidest shit I've ever seen in my entire life. <sighs> so yeah, so I was scared, uh, I was nervous. I was thinking, you know, uh, am I sure that I wanna um, release this to the world. Yeah, I, all that stuff was going through my head at that time. So Sarah is saying Latinos have good moves. Some from Mexico, and my last name is from Cuban. 
Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not going to ask about the Latinos have good moves. Uh, that might be a uh, not the green room. I don't know. Carl is saying that he used another Corel product and he liked it, so it was an easy decision. Donna says, I miss Corel Draw. I don't think I ever used Corel Draw. And Bladed Thesis is saying, hmm, I took Spanish in junior and senior high, and I did date a Latina girl, but she was Portuguese. I actually dated, what was the girl that I dated? She was from, um, not Cuba. Uh, I don't know. But um, yes, Latino women, uh, uh, let's just leave it at that, all right? Also, they had an offer on Woot to get last year's version for 40 bucks, I, and I've updated it since then. Oh, okay. Of course, we only had Spanish in high school. I wonder how many people who actually took any foreign language in high school remember any of it. <laughs> and I think Carl is imagining what, what uh, Yoshi would say in such a situation. And he's saying, no photos. I just want food. You know, I mean, that's the thing. I've often, part of, part of you know, Beowulf is wish fulfillment on my part because I do wish that I could talk to my cats. But I think that if I could actually have a conversation with my cats, I would be so disappointed by the fact that 90% of what they wanted to talk about was probably food. Sarah says, I wish we had a Deutsch or Latin. Latin being the root of a ton of words. Um, yeah, I think most people who, who uh, take Latin are either planning on studying theology or um, medical. But uh, yeah, it might be interesting to just learn. Sarah's saying it time flies. Yeah, it took a long time. Sarah says, yeah, it's not good for me to be in my own head for too long. Join the mother effing club, Sarah. Corel bought my favorite graphic arts program, micrographics, then hid it inside of another program. I do my best work with oil paints since they take so long to dry completely. Interesting. Um, you can buy stuff that you mix with acrylic paint to make it dry slower, but um, yeah, uh, I mean, if you like oil paint, that's cool. Oh, okay, so Sarah's saying dancing, but the other thing too, okay. I remember weird unrelated to anything words from foreign languages, huh? I can. I took a year of Spanish in in uh, junior high, and I can say "mi amo es Grant." And Carlos is saying I took Spanish in high school and college, and ended up using it in my work, and I can still kind of speak it. Boxy says I forgot all the Spanish I ever learned in school, which honestly wasn't much, given some issues that I had. I think we talked a little bit about that on um, um, Joe's show. That, um, yeah, learning, lear being good at learning and uh, being good in school are not necessarily the, the same thing, right? And Dan is saying that he took French in college, but he didn't retain much. So Blade is saying I he took Spanish in junior high, German in high school, uh, and then German and Spanish, but I already had taken Spanish, so I wanted a challenge. Hmm. And I guess that's one way to, to look at it. Um, I can tell you um, America does not have a very good foreign language program because I can tell you my brother uh, went to Spain and nobody could un understand what the fuck he was saying. And this is a guy who never got anything less than like an A. Oh, I was trying to figure out why why my tablet wasn't working. And then I remembered that I unplugged it so that I could go chase uh, Yoshi around. So I think that I, okay, it might take it a second to warm up. 
There we go. I'm going to put a little bit more highlights on his wing. Then I'm going to start fading out the highlights. And the highlights will slowly turn into shadows. But the shadows are not going to be as dark on this wing since it's kind of closer to the, uh, the fire. But, um, yeah, as you can see, this, this wing is a little bit lighter because it's, um, actually, I don't, maybe I won't put any shadow on this. Maybe way down in the bottom, I will. But even then, it's not going to be a super dark shadow. That was a good TV show, right? Dark Shadows. I've never sat down and watched the Tim Burton movie, but I've heard people... Um, Angie and her kids like that movie. Oh, you know what? I know how I can get more ratings on this show. Is if I would start to color Mooney. That's probably what everybody's waiting for, right? Okay, where did we leave off? My wife was born in South America and lived in New Mexico. Her church asked her to interpret for people at the food bank. Oh, I'm sorry. I think I misplayed. He said that he can still speak some Spanish, and he's brushing up on it with Duolingo. Um, yes, Dan. Uh, I am a big fan of, of Latin women, so you're a lucky man. Um, Foxy says high school is kind of a wash for me and I don't remember much due to issues with the medication um, yeah I don't know that I had issues with medication but um, high school is kind of a wash for me too just because um, I was very angry and uh, I was rebelling against the world yeah I don't know what was wrong with me and Sarah is saying, we really don't. Many countries are taught to be bilingual starting at a very young age. We certainly weren't yet expect, except others to be when they, they get here. It makes my head hurt. Yeah, um, well, there's an old joke. Uh, what do you call somebody who knows two languages? Duolingo. Du Duolingual. What do you call somebody who knows three languages? Trilingual. What do you call somebody who knows one language? American. Uh, our German teacher got married between junior and senior high, and her husband spoke Japanese, so we had a short lesson on speaking Japanese for a couple of weeks. And it was fun. Yeah, it seems like, Blade, like uh, you're somebody who's very interested in Japanese culture. Dear Lord, I swear I thought I heard you say wang rather than wing for a second. I mean, I, that's not unheard of. I, I do sometimes say, say wang. Your mind is somewhere green, Sarah. If only I could have some some green, Foxy. So Bill, Bill Volk is a friend of mine. Bill is actually a, an in real life friend. Uh, Bill Volk, I think, is referencing uh, uh, Dark Shadows. He said that it's the first soap opera to go super weird, and it paved the way for Passions. Yes, if any of you guys remember Passions, I don't know. Do you guys have any soap operas that you like watching? The only Spanish I can reliably speak involves ordering tacos, burritos, and quesadillas. Yeah, we had a whole class on learning, like, like how to order, like, food and, like, daiquiris and stuff. I was surprised that they taught us uh, the word for daiquiri, you know? But, like, um... Yeah, I don't, to be honest with you, I don't really remember much about uh, Spanish class. I, I only took one year, but um, I, it, it, it became obvious to me that I wasn't retaining the knowledge. 
So I figured I'd stop learning before I, I figured I would stop taking Spanish classes because it felt like it was just a waste of time to me. I don't know. You know what I think I forgot to do? I think I forgot to do the dragon's tail, didn't I? At least putting, I put a little bit of a shadow on it, but I didn't put uh, any like texture or anything like that on it. So I think I'm gonna remedy that. So let me know in the comments if you guys are enjoying this episode. Um, this is a, obviously a little bit more improvised than um, most of the episodes, but um, let me know if you guys are enjoying it or not. Let's see if there are any more comments. So Bill says, I don't know if this counts, but the first like eight seasons of Degrassi, the next generations were great. Yeah, uh, I haven't sat down and watched it, but I, I remember uh, your wife, Ruth, was really into Degrassi, the next generation. So Dan is, uh, says, my wife is British, but she was born in Venezuela. Cool. Yeah, I, I just remembered the, the girl that I dated, this was obviously before Angie. Uh, I dated a girl from Colombia. And um, yeah, I don't, we, we certainly weren't going to uh, get married or anything, but uh, well, I'll, I'll leave the rest up to your imagination. Uh, Sarah says that she thinks this is a great episode. I wonder if fire goes inwards if a dragon gets the hiccups. Yes, I ponder wonder weird things. Um, you know what? I've I've often wondered about the physics of of dragons breathing fire, but um, yeah, I think it's one of those things that's just kind of fun or magic or whatever like there's not really any logic to why it happens the way it does donna is saying that this is a fun episode blade thinks that it comes out the other end like are you saying that these dragons can also fart fire that sounds great yeah that's interesting foxy um yeah i guess i've never really sat down and I thought um, about like why languages is, is, is such an interesting thing, but um, yeah, um, like I discussed before, America has never really made uh, language education a priority for us. And I'm not quite sure why that is. Sarah is saying I'd be a horrible rep for attaining place i'm a literal photo negative of a tan blonde yeah so angie note mentioned that i got a little bit of a tan today we went we went for a walk today and it was really really nice so dan is saying her family moved back to england when she was five so english is actually her second language cool so bovoke is saying i've always wanted to prank my D, D players with a potion of water breathing that lets them breathe water out and a potion of fire breathing that lets them breathe fire in. Oh, I get it. So like, okay, so usually a water breathing potion, it allows you to breathe underwater, but you're saying that it would be cool to, if there was a potion that let you like shoot water out of your, your mouth. Yeah. I never thought of that. Don is going to bed. Good night, Don. Have a great night. <laughs> Sarah's saying that would be weird to see going through the sky. So it would be almost like a a, a jet, like uh, if uh, um, like fire coming out of the backside of of the dragon, or water if a hydra, right? 
Okay, so Don is saying between Joe having issues with the site and my fit not behaving, I need a break. Okay, so I think Don is going to go and relax. Have a good night. I, di I didn't hear about the Fitbit not working, but um, I hope you get that figured out. And everybody is saying good night to Don. Okay, and I am going to stop reading comments for a second. Oh, whoops, I'm on the wrong lighter. Whoops. That is not the right lighter. This is the lighter. Oh, I'm using the wrong color. Whoops. You know, I'm going to delete all of that. And then I'm going to go in with a much lighter color, a much lighter shade of green. Okay, I'm actually going to zoom in on this so that I can get the texture really good. And then I'm going to up the opacity a little bit and up the amount of yellow. Hmm, is that too much? I'm thinking that that might be a little bit too much. I'm going to decrease the opacity a little bit. So I'm glad you guys liked this uh, a little bit more informal episode. Um, I think sometimes, oh boy, now my cursor is acting. Hey, what? Oh, guess what just happened? Stitch literally just tried to knock the tablet out of my hand. He's like so mad that I'm not feeding him. Look at this guy. He's acting all innocent. Now he's trying to knock my water off the off the the shelf. He's acting all innocent, but like a minute ago he was literally trying to knock my tablet off of the couch. So Dan is saying he I may not have encountered the Discworld novels yet. Oh, I wish I still had the joy ahead of me. Jealous. No, I haven't read the Discworld novels. Uh, I think I'm kind of intimidated by how many of them there are. Um, the only the only thing I've read by Terry Pratchett is the book he co-wrote with Neil Gaiman. Because um, I, I used to be a really big... I, I'm still a little bit of a Neil Gaiman fan, but I used to be a much, much, much bigger fan so don is saying that she tried to to sync her fitbit with the show but apparently the nick field is strong with us tonight hmm i wonder how that would work and sarah is saying spontaneous gatherings are welcomed <laughs> bill bill is saying that stitch has never ever been fed so we so uh this is like an inside joke between bill and i uh we used to joke around that Mooney was going to start a, a charity called Mooney's Kids, which is for cats that have never, ever been fed. Um, and obviously that's just a joke. Obviously my cats have all been fed. And Carl's saying that he's learning things about the program that is helpful. Thank you. I'm not sure what uh, Sarah's rolling on the floor laughing about, but... Uh, I don't remember what I said, but uh, Carl is saying, poor Stitch. Hermione tried to sit on my keyboard so I know the pain of an angry cat, and he wants me to go to bed. And Sarah is saying that the book count is huge. And I, I think she's talking about Discworld as well. I tried reading the Wheel of Time books because a friend of mine told me that they were really good. And... Um, um, he also told me they don't, they don't get good until like book four. And I was like, you are out of your mind. If you think I'm going to read three books that aren't any good just to get to the fourth book when it starts to get good. And Sarah's like, yeah, Stitch was trying to knock over my water. And she goes busted. 
uh, Sarah says, I read some of the Discworld series, but it was just way too much for me. So I think since Stitch is freaking out, I think I am going to end the show at this point. Uh, we try to go an hour, and we have like five more minutes till it's an hour, but I think I'm going to call it a day. Um, thanks again, everybody, for watching. Since you guys seem to like this, um, this a little bit more laid back, less formal uh, uh, presentation, I might try doing this again some other time. I don't know if it's next week or maybe in the future. But uh, anyways, everybody, thank you for uh, watching the show. And he said, it, and Dan is saying that there are 50 novels in the series, but once you begin, you can't stop. And Grant, there is no reason to read them in their order. They're all self-contained. Oh, okay. And Carl is saying, everyone have a great night. And starving cats will eat well. Sarah's saying the same thing. Feed the kittens. Great to see you again. Joe's saying see you next time. See everyone next week. Yeah, thanks everybody who who showed up tonight. Foxy's saying night as well. Thank you so much, everybody. And we will see you next week. Bye-bye.